What's up, Gadgeteers? Welcome back to Gadget Beer. Today, we're talking about Google's shiny new Pixel 9 Pros. Phones that boost a hefty price tag from as low as $999 all the way up to $1,919. But with all that hype surrounding its new Tensor G4 chip, we have to ask, is the performance living up to the cost? Google has been singing praises about the G4, claiming it delivers significantly improved processing power and AI capabilities, all while being incredibly power efficient. But recent tests have some people questioning whether the G4 it's all that it's cracked up to be. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some early stress test results for the G4 and see if the chipset is truly worthy of your trust. So let's get right into it. A stress test conducted by tech enthusiasts at Call Me Shazam, from now on we'll just call him Shazam, has revealed some potentially concerning results for the Pixel 9 Pro XL G4 chip. Under intense workload, the G4 throttled down all the way up to 50% of its maximum performance. To break that down, the test show that performance cores plummeting from 3.10 gigahertz to 1.32 gigahertz, while the efficient cores dropped from 1.92 gigahertz to a surprisingly low 0.57 gigahertz. That's a significant drop in performance, especially considering Google's claims about the G4 efficiency. Now, you might be thinking, well, the Pixel 9 Pro XL has a vapor chamber cooling system. Shouldn't that prevent this kind of throttling? And you'll be right to question that. The vapor chamber, a feature highlighted in Google's Pixel 9 event, was supposed to be a game changer for thermal management, yet distress test suggests otherwise. Now, before we jump into any conclusion, it's important to remember that stress tests are designed to push chipsets to their absolute limits. They don't necessarily represent typical everyday use. It's entirely possible that the G4 performs just fine under normal conditions. It's also important to consider the testing environment. The source does not specify the ambient temperature during Shazam's test. Higher temperatures could definitely impact the chipset's ability to manage heat, leading to more aggressive throttling. Even the MediaTek Dimensity 9300, a chip built on a more advanced manufacturing process, exhibited a 46% performance drop when subjected to the similar stress test. This suggests that these extreme tests are designed to really put the heat on any chipset, regardless of its efficiency claims. So, where does this leave us with the Tensor G4? Should you be worried? Well, a recent video posted by YouTube channel In-Depth Tech Reviews shows a real-life stress test where the Pixel 9 Pro XL outperformed the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and tied the iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's also important to remember that raw performance isn't the only factor. The Tensor G4 is designed for more than just speed. Its AI processing capabilities could be a game changer for things like photography, voice recognition, and other AI powered features. So even if raw performance isn't always top tier, its AI strength might make it a compelling choice for many users. Ultimately, whether the Tensor G4 earns your trust depends on your priorities. Are you someone who pushes your phone to its absolute limits? If so, then the throttling might give you a pause. But if you're more of an average user who values AI features and overall user experience, the G4 could still be a winner. What do you think about the Tensor G Force performance? Do you value a more technical stress test over a real life stress test? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. And if you want to stay up with all things Pixel, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.